Okay, hello there. Moish Critical is going to talk about something. I don't know what, because his titles never tell me what. So they finally shut it down. I wonder what. It's a terrible day for rain. I'm rain. wearing black because we're mourning. It didn't feel appropriate to put on a white shirt and have my bubbly, happy go lucky, enthusiastic. Wait, is this the card server? I'm curious. Such a serious topic. YouTube is currently oh, running an YouTube. experiment to crack down on ad blockers. Oh. Some of you may have noticed over the last 24 hours, your ad block is no longer functioning on YouTube. And I don't use a ad blockers. About it. This is our first casualties of this long <laughs> first battle. Casualties. The first mangled corpses littering the battlefield. The ad block champion for which we have worshipped for so long is starting to be attacked. Now, honestly, I'm surprised it's taken YouTube this long to try and fight back against the empire here of Adblock. It's been around for well over a decade. I don't know a single person under the age of 50 that even uses the internet without an Adblock. That's just a recipe for disaster. I'm at the point now where if a website even asks me to disable my Adblock, I just leave. Like, I can't even go on Forbes anymore because it has- I don't use Adblock. Has that pop-up saying, Disable ad block in order to read our dog shit. And I, I just, I'm out. I just, I drop everything and I say, you know what? I'm not eating at this lunch table anymore. I just can't peruse the internet without an ad block. It feels like unprotected sex with someone completely filthy. It, it feels <laughs> vile. So ad block is a core part of the internet experience for a lot of people, myself included, clearly. So I've been missing out them. Starting to shut down the ad block functionality on the platform is a little sad and alarming for me because clearly... I haven't been on here without an ad block in so long. Now, on my phone, when I'm listening to music or something on my phone, I, I don't have YouTube Premium or anything, so I still do get ads. But they're usually pretty manageable. It's only like a 5 second skippable, or a 15 second ad, or a 5 second skippable ad, so it's not that bad. It doesn't bother me that much, but on my computer, you know I stay fucking strapped with that ad blocker. And I, of course, always encourage everyone out there to have some sort of ad blocker. There's even browsers with ad block built in, like Opera GX. This isn't like a sponsored segment or anything. It's just, it has a built in ad block. It's just important. You know, there's no reason to be going through the internet and being inundated with, you know, all these ads shoved down your throat and slapped around with all kinds of intrusive advertising you don't want to see. It's just kind of a necessity. It's, it's a core part of the experience in the cyberspace. It's like looking it. both ways before crossing the street. Make sure your ad block is on before visiting this website, just in case. And sometimes it's just downright dangerous to not have ad block on, because some of the ads are just straight up viruses and malware. Now keep in mind, this is still an experiment. They're still in Dexter's laboratory right now, cooking this up in order to fight back against ad blockers. So this isn't going to apply to everyone out there. Maybe you're still in the good graces of your ad block and it's still functioning as it always has. But a lot of users are receiving this message that says, ad blockers are not allowed on YouTube. It looks like you may be using an ad blocker. Ads allow YouTube to stay free for billions of users worldwide. You can go ad free with YouTube premium and creators can still get paid from your subscription. And then you have the option, allow YouTube ads or try YouTube premium. Now, I obviously understand why YouTube is doing this. I think everybody in the world has an understanding of why YouTube would want to stop ad blockers from yeah. working on their site. And it's because they lose a lot of money to it, like probably billions of dollars to it. Yeah. YouTube does rely on advertisers to be on the platform and thus, as the user base continues to grow, so does the exposure to ads, which puts money in YouTube's pocket to keep the service free. So that way people can still keep getting free content. They just have to sit through the ads. And with Adblock, they've kind of taken that out of the equation for a lot of people, which means a lot more people aren't seeing the ads, which means YouTube's losing out on that money. It's all pretty simple. We're not diving into any quantum computational bibble babble. It's YouTube loses money when the Adblock is on, so they want to rip that condom off so they can get that money again. So Adblock will no longer function, which sucks for me because I'm not a YouTube Premium subscriber and I don't want ads, which means I'll probably have to pay for YouTube Premium here pretty soon. Right now, Google is calling this a small experiment, but it's important that we realize that everything big once started small, except for me. I started small and I'm still small at five mm -hmm. foot six. But the point is, they're saying it's a small experiment globally that urges viewers with ad blockers enabled to allow ads on YouTube or try YouTube Premium. Ad block detection is not new, and other publishers regularly ask viewers to disable ad blockers, which is true. This isn't some kind of groundbreaking, innovative technology here that detects the ad block. Like, they're not a pioneer. Tons of sites have done that and are still currently doing it. Really? YouTube is just one of the last ones that. to do it, surprisingly. And now they're finally deciding to get into that ball game. 
The article also mentions how they do experiment with other kinds of ad strategies. Last year, they did an experiment that forced users to watch a long chain of short and unskippable ads. I believe this was all on YouTube TV where they had like 10 unskippable ads just to test out if TV watchers would be more susceptible to long form advertising. And then it also mentions that YouTube creators have seen a steady decline in ad revenue since 2017 with the ad apocalypse. So one thing that they mentioned here and a lot of people have talked about is when ad block is disabled, the creator makes more money off ad revenue. I don't know if that's true or not. I've always encouraged people to have an ad block when using the internet in general, which of course applies to my content as well. So I don't know if that's going to be a noticeable impact on creator ad revenue or anything. It makes sense, like the logic makes sense that all tracks that if more people are seeing the ads on your videos, that means more dollars, more doubloons that would make in your sense. pocket for it. So I do think that that probably will lead to higher ad revenue for creators, but it comes at a cost to the viewer experience because, again, no one really wants to sit through the ads. And if they don't want to sit through the ads, then the only other way is the YouTube premium, which costs money. So it, all of it's not exactly how I'd like to see it play out because I always think the most important thing is people getting to have a fun experience that isn't a headache. And right now that to me is having the ad block on and just being able to watch the content immediately with no stress and no financial investment in order to get that experience. Also, you might remember a few years ago, actually quite a long time ago now. I think I know why this doesn't affect me it's, and that's because I don't really watch stuff on my PC or my phone. I, in my own time, I don't watch stuff there. I always watch it on my TV and my PlayStation 5. So I never really could get an ad block right there, right? Or when I used to use my PlayStation 4, used to watch YouTube on that on my tv and because i didn't i have a flat screen tv and instead of watching it on a small screen right i would watch it there i feel like that's why i never use an ad now, there was a couple of delusional creators that were absolutely huffing glue and they started to whine and complain about people using ad block really? we had these fucking hall monitors on youtube who were like ad block is piracy it's theft you're stealing from the creators if you care about our content you'll turn off the ad block and you'll click on the ads too god damn it you what fucking filthy swan who said that and everyone shot spitballs at him and made <gasps> fun of those clowns well now they're probably wiggling their finger like completely jubilated at this new announcement here no, that that mentality hasn't been why is that off of my quite a long screen. time that's kind of faded out because it's so ridiculous to try and claim that free content is being pirated when they're not watching the ads. It's so stupid. But I just wanted to point that out right now because they're probably ecstatic. Like, they're probably going wild right now. Fucking rip their shirt off and twirling it over their head right now. I just slapped the mic. I bet that sounded amazing. Sorry about <laughs> that. I guess a little jump scare. But yeah, overall, it's it's a sad day. It's the end of an era. The end of the ad block utopia we've taken for granted. Bro, I got a mouth in my room and it's fine. Go I can only hope that this doesn't become even more widespread because right now it's already huge. I mentioned Forbes earlier, but there's a lot of major publications that won't even allow you to I got a mouth in my room and it's coming at me, but I don't know what I'm Oh, I landed on my PC table. I wasn't there. Bro, tell me why I felt I kicked the air, right? And then I felt a sharp pain, like a jolt. It was unexpected. My bad, bro. Articles with an ad block on. And, like, I, I understand. All of these sites need advertising to survive. But the problem is the ads are way too intrusive. When you do make the mistake of obliging and turning off your ad block to go to these sites, you get, like, fucking nine different ads all at once. You have, like, a an auto ad that plays with audio on some sites. You'll then have, like, a drop-down ad that'll come through, which takes up, like, half the screen, and then you have two ads on the side. It's just, it's so much. It's like Charles Xavier jacking into Cerebro, but all he's seeing is fucking dog shit advertising. It's just, it's too shitty. So if you really do want people to browse your sites without an ad block, then make the advertisements less intrusive, less invasive, I hate when I click the X on the ad and then it still takes me to the next page. Like, bitch, I just clicked the X. Or like, I be reading manga on my phone, right? So, when I click on a manga on this certain, on this one site, it's only this one site that I really like. There's two problems with this one site that I really like. And it's that sometimes it just randomly scrolls back up to the top. I don't know why the fuck it does that. And other times I be, when I click on the next chapter, it'll like, like open a new tab and it would just be some random shit like it could be anything from like shopping to only fans and i'm like bro how the fuck 
And then you just do that. And but, less yeah. of a fucking headache and an eyesore. It's that simple. It's really That's dumb. how you solve this whole thing instead of punishing people for having an ad block. Now, in the case of YouTube, like I said, I do understand it. And right now, the YouTube ad system isn't that bad. I get it on mobile when because I'm not. I don't have YouTube Premium, so when I'm listening to music, I get the ads. And right now, I only ever get a 15-second unskippable ad I'm or a five-second yeah, skippable ad. The moth I'm is never hanging upside down like a bat. Of them, though the there fuck? are He's occasional moments where down. if I'm not paying attention, I'll get like two ads back to back, and that second one's like a minute. Look, bro, I don't even know how the fuck a moth got in my room because my somebody must have left the front door open, and that nigga must have came in through the, the bottom of my door because my door isn't even open that much, and I don't open my sliding doors. Get long, so I have to go over there and be like, skip, because if I don't, then I get like an entire fucking short stories content worth of advertising so they do have those sneaky little bastards snuck in there occasionally but it's always skippable so if you're just present you can skip it it's not that big of a deal it doesn't bother me too much but i probably will end up just getting youtube premium because i really don't want to be getting ads when i'm on the computer so yeah just wanted to talk sense. about all this that's about it but i find a way around it sometimes bro that 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 moth i'm pretty sure some moth is next to on my pc table how, how long do moths live hold on i gotta look this up hold on let's check out comments first and then i'll look it up i'm really glad youtube is cracking down on ad blockers instead of sex bots false reporting false copyright strikes they really got their priorities right i mean of course they do money is the number one priority at literally every company uh that's what i was gonna say i mean yeah, I was going to do this by myself, but I felt like since it's a natural part of the video, I feel like you guys should be included. You can't see my keyboard. Not my keyboard, my screen. I don't do my Fifteen or nine, twenty-nine days, and that's a painted lady. I don't know what kind of moth this is, but bitch, you better die in like two days. No, actually, it's full glow. It's full. Is, is it this? It's full grown. So I don't think it's going to live for that much longer. Uh, Uh, two weeks to several months. Oh, really? I'm gonna have to find a way to get this nigga out my room. But yeah, other than that, like, subscribe. See you guys later. Hope you have a good day or night and bye.